Black Trucks, the Belfast man, the unbeaten Brian McGee, the white of the man with all the support in this arena, Neil Linford, the 23-year-old Tony Simpson protege from Leicester. McGee boxing out of that southpaw style of his. Big chest for both of these young fighters. Keen items. Let's see what happens, how this develops. Watch for Linford's left hook. That's his honey punch. Well, that's a good punch against the southpaw. The right hand and the left two, so he'll be looking for those shots. common opponent so far, McGee is the one with the better record. Big question mark about this, the way he was stopped by Jason Barker in three rounds, stopped on his feet. And it was that same Jason Barker who's the only man to take McGee the distance, though McGee did beat him on points. You would think Linford has to show a new determination here, be very good to maybe take the fight to McGee. See what he's like under pressure. They're both just having a good look at each other in this first round. It's a classy little combination there from the game. It's just a little example of his fast hands. It's a good array of punches there, and Linford unable to come back with anything. Fast hands and accurate. <laughs> Times when McGee has simply oozed glass so far. It's good that these two aren't dodging each other, isn't it? Yes, it is good in boxing to see two prospects coming together pretty early in their careers in a what is that, a good fight. Right, we're done. McGee getting the better of the opening round so far with his boxing skills, though Linford does get there with a little shot to the body. Well, it's going to be difficult for Linford to stand off McGee. McGee, a very good boxer. That's the danger. He'll just pick you apart if you let him settle into a rhythm. Showing a bit more lateral movement for a moment there, Linford. been all over the world he's very experienced indeed yes and just showing his skills up there in the first round nice three punch combination Thank very you, accurate Thank through the middle Neil Linford who gets time off from his job with an engineering company to concentrate on his boxing on the build up to fights second round of this intercontinental fight at super middleweight start to think of some fairly major things. It's better from Lincoln with a little body shot. Limford's only won four times inside schedule. Out of 11 wins and two defeats. McGee, remember, 10 out of 11 straight wins via the knockout and stoppage route. Still opting to stand out.
long range and look for the, the boxing to try and work first. Belfast has got another really good one here in Brian McGee, but tonight will tell us more. more live Scottish football for you this week. Tuesday night, it's Kilmarnock against Hibernian. That's live from 7, Sky Sports 1. And on Wednesday night, an extra match for you, live on Sky Box Office, St Johnston against Celtic. For more information on this special box office event, the number to call 08 705 800 888. This is a good matchup too. Yes, it is. Third round. Two. Prospects meeting head on here, fairly early in their careers. And manager Brian McGee from Belfast in the black trunks, the white of Leicester's Neil Linford. Second round was closer, McGee certainly won the first. <laughs> mistakes don't they little tense yes yes they do they both look tense they just need to loosen up a bit that's, and they will as the rounds go on you be very careful just fighting this time looking for the, the openings to present themselves something of a phony war at the moment it's not just working each other out or trying to anyway <laughs> a little bit McGee yes he has he's just been too much of the counter puncher isn't he time out time out when he's lost the gum shield it's Linford should have to be rinsed off you get the impression there's a more furious phase of this fight to come don't you yes you certainly do and I think it will come soon enough Linford will have to play when McGee starts to up the pace. 
the fight will change. from him. He still keeps looking for that straight left hand to the body, not quite getting it on there. Together, but I think he now needs to start up with the work here, McGee. That's a little bit of success right at the end of the round with that left hand. Round four coming up. An intercontinental belt on the line here tonight, but it's really this uh, the bragging rights among the young super middleweights. Black, remember, of Brian McGee, the 25 year old West Belfast by whom he started his career early on at the age of 10 when he did a project about Barry McGuigan and Barry's World Championship days. Linford got there with that left hook to the jaw quite significantly early in the round. Well, that was good, another little left hook there. Right, step back. But I think he just needs to step in behind that punch. <laughs> really isn't it at the moment he's got a bit more confidence he's starting to step in a bit more I reckon he's doing okay and every punch he lands being cheered to the echo around here it's really crowded this Bushfield centre tonight he started this round good Linford together in this round so far. Linford showing signs of warming to the task. Maybe just beginning to work out McGee's style a little too, the softball style. with his jab, he's having to reach, better movement from Linford, he's loosening up. <laughs> it looks to me like he's thinking about all of it too much, you know, he, he looks like he's planning it out and then he's not letting the punches go. <laughs> Let's get there with a nice looking left hand. Last 20 seconds or so of the fourth round.
Hogan to work Swim Leopard in the gym in the Belgrave out of the Boxing Club in Leicester with the occasional advice from the master Tony Simpson in the background. so far in the way we've seen him in some of his previous fights. Just looks a bit pasty and over technical, doesn't he? And a little stiff and as you said, like he's thinking about the plot too much. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna loosen up, he's gonna be more relaxed, he's just gonna let the punches flow. I don't think he's showing us the real Brian McGee so far. Better for him, just more work. Interesting with Brian McGee, when he won the Commonwealth Games bronze medal, he was beaten in the semi-finals by England's John Pierce, who is renowned a bit for his left hook, just like Lincoln. Exactly right, yeah, good left hook, out, John Pierce, an aggressive fighter, more aggressive than Linford. Round six. the sixth round, no knockdown so far, no cuts. <laughs> sort of battle between these two youngsters at super middleweight who are looking to make the big breakthrough picking up their first belt albeit one of those uh, intercontinental ones <laughs> very decent division of britain with joe calzaghi leading the way people like glenn <laughs> catley really she a good shot there from Lincoln. The game waiting too long and then Lippert just sticking out the shot. to pick 
bit, I fancy, McGee, but not really sustaining enough pressure to do that. No, he's not. And, uh, I wonder why he's doing that, why he's, he's trying to be so cautious, thinking about it more. He really needs to show a bit more fighter and more aggression. Halfway through round six. So far, McGee hasn't been himself. So give Linford some credit for that. He's making the Belfast man think more than he's ever had to think before in his pro career. Linford wants this win as well. so far from Neil Linford. Some people thought he just might be quite badly outclassed in terms of skills in this fight, but it hasn't turned out that way at all. He's held his own in the main. I think he's behind. He needs to do more himself, quite a lot more, in fact. Yes, he does need to do more, but you know, he's, he's holding his own in there. He's still pretty poised. You know, he's working quite well. But McGee's doing more without looking especially convincing. McGee in black. Last quarter of a minute. The sixth round. These the ones been very good at working inside, have they? They haven't got, got themselves free and they found some room in there. Tactics from either of them so far. Let's get some comments from a man who was a Belfast fighting hero, Barry McGuigan. Yeah, I think it's a fairly even fight up to now. Uh, McGee's pulling ahead. I've given him the last round as well. I have him a couple of rounds up. Uh, he's boxing very well, but what he's not doing is he's not reaching with his jab. He's pulling short with his jab, and he's getting picked off at times, and Linford's boxing very well. That left hook is a dangerous point, and McGee has got to watch out for that. His defense really needs a little bit of work on him. He seems to have problems with Linford's style, the fact that he's so upright, and he's got a very tight defense. He's got to work the body more. He's trying to work that now, using the jab and working the body and coming up with uh, his combinations. But this is not an easy night for him, and it's a long way to go. <laughs> 80 to 55 in terms of punches landed so far in this fight. That's a handy lead for McGee. I've got him three points ahead. On this stage, I've got him three points ahead, but he dropped off again a bit the last one. I'll just give that one even. He does need to step it up. Okay. If he's too impressed, you know, he obviously wants to win, but he wants to impress as well. Yes, yeah, that sort of fight, isn't it, where you don't just want to win it, you want to uh, make a few waves as well. Starting to pull away three points. 59-56. May come a time here where Neil Linford has to gamble a little. Covering up well, but it's basically been a defensive performance from him so far. I think he's been pretty much aware of McGee's reputation as a smooth combination puncher, and he's trying to commit himself a little for fear of being counted quite badly. Yes, a good body push is going in from McGee in this round. That's just being a little bit a little more cautious. shots to the body from McGee rather than the three four punch combinations we've grown used to seeing from him. Because the worrying thing with all these guys who you think are very smooth and look good early on is you know one day they suddenly find their level and they don't look so good. 
That's right. Yeah, you, you, know, you got to see what they like in a fight. You know, all these moves, so you just gotta you know, get in there and put it up, put the shots about. That may happen in the second half of the fight, then. Yeah, it may. But I think Clifton needs to step it up himself. Of course, the game with a good right hook. These are sporadic successes for Leicester's Neil Lindby. Going for those rib crunches to the body. McGee not really setting himself though and hurling them in with wicked intent. But uh, he's just doing more all the time for me, Brian McGee. But never mind what we think. Let's go back to. Uh, the hero of old, my old buddy, Tony Simpson, he's with Ed Robinson. Well, Tony, at the moment, it still seems like they're being too respectful of each other. I, I agree with you there. No, it's showing too, it's too much respect, but McGee now is walking away with the part, stealing it the way he does. You know, he's got great hand movement. You know, I think Neil now has got to state his claim on the fight, and that's where he's not doing enough. You know. Neil still looks like he's throwing one punch yeah, at a time. Single shots, every time he doubles the shots up, he's, he's catching some good punches, but... He's not doing it up now. I think now he's in the stage of the fight now. He's got an outcome with himself, and um, it's a different game plan because uh, McGee's now still in the fight. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Paul and Leicester fans who have travelled down the A47 to be here. Just a bit quiet. They used to be really a lively old crowd, to put it mildly, oh, when Simo was boxing, didn't they? He always got the punch to show about, didn't he, with his style? And sometimes it wasn't the only fight in the arena, was it? <laughs> It's round eight. Black trucks. Of Brian McGee. Neil Linford. Now Tony Simpson basically is just underlining the same point that Linford has to do more. He's got a bit of tape loose on his left glove now, Linford. That might cause a stoppage in a while. shots but he needs more of that he needs to start to get these combinations flowing if he can yes i, th I think tony Simpson was right we need to see a bit more devil from limpid now we'll see what mcgee's like on the back foot under pressure that's good from limpid a couple of body shots this time out so that the uh, tape can be put back on the glove so that it doesn't flick into the other fellow's eyes. Keep busy Neil, keep busy. Very quickly done. <laughs> Steady body punching here from McGee. Just dipping at the hips and letting the hook go into the rib cage. Concentrating on the body punching now, McGee. I think he feels that there could be a bit of a weakness there. Bit by bit, that may be sapping Limpet strength. What's it like, Glenn, when you keep getting hit with the body like that? <laughs> I had no particular fight in mind, honestly. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. It takes an awful lot out of you. So the right. body punch is a good, good big target to be in for, much easier to, to hit than the head. Get all the demonstrate on your day. I don't know what I do. Yeah. I might not be around, I don't know if you do that to me. Good shots again here, and he's covering up here, and in trouble, there's a cut to for Linford. McGee starting to get very busy here, and Linford in increasing trouble now. He took... 
pretty systematic beating in that round. And he's got a bad cut now that they've got to work on in that corner and quickly. Yes, he didn't need that, but just at the end of the round, the game was starting to wear him down, I think. I think the body punch has had to the effect for Valenfin. Let's have a look, see if we can see how this cut happened. Chopping right, was that chopping little punch at the end of the combination? That's what it looked like. But I think the body punches were the key in that round. They suddenly started to weaken Limpid. The game realized that, put the pressure on. Ninth round. And I think he really does have to gamble now, Limpid. And I think he knows it. They told him, You've got the cut now, come on. Because there's no point going out a loser here and feeling you didn't give it your best shot. Now we're going to see a fight, I think. Oh, okay, he just cracked his own work there. Limpet comes forward. Limpet tried to start fast in the round, but McGee matched him. I think he kind of read what was going to happen. McGee in a big lead, he must be. tape on the club. Limpet having to take increasingly more body and headshots. Now we're beginning to see a bit more of what McGee's about. He's worked steadily, not always impressively, but you have to say he's just winding up the tempo now, and this is quite impressive. Yes, it is. He's obviously stuck to a game plan the game and started to show on and starting to work now. Got a bit too much of this cracky right hand. Limpet's taken rather too many, and John Coyle starting to take a rather closer interest in Limpet's condition. Still competitive for Leicester Mass. But the truth is, he's never really seriously been able to get into this fight. And I think the body points more and more and taking it out of Limpet. Stop throwing them back. Putting these shots pretty well now. These are the combination punches that we've seen in the past from the game that have marked him out as one of the hottest properties among the talents in British boxing. There's chopping punch in close there. Now he's finally starting to work in close range for game. Taken in time, but he's taken Neil Limpet's measure now. It looks like that anyway. There was a pretty low one in there, I think, from the gate on the blind side of the referee. He's now winning round after round after round. And I would think Limpet must be getting pretty desperate and a little dispirited by now. Yeah, it's getting hard for Limpet in there now. He still keeps looking for the body punches, mixing up quite well. Bruce Ribs, and knowing I think that here he's met a man who's just got a little bit too much for him at the moment. Yes, that right. you look looks very bad there. Right. So if you want this turn, well, you've got to go and push him back. You know Don't let him push you back. You Body shots, back. big advantage for McGee. You'd expect that from what we've seen. Kevin Sanders saying there, if you want this title, you've got to start pushing him back. And I think that's what he's got to do. That's his only chance. Be aggressive. Go for McGee. What can he do about it now? He's taken quite a few. I think he's been tired by those body shots. Yeah, six-point lead for Brian McGee. Roy Francis Terry O'Connor, 
Thomas, the three judges scoring this at ringside tonight. Those right hands for the body. He's going to wake up with such sore ribs tomorrow morning. Neil Leo. He's going to feel that. They're heavy shots. It's almost been cruel the way that McGee has concentrated on that area. Just pissed by a bit. He's touching it for the part. McGee never rushed anything. And it's got better as it's gone on, hasn't he? Yes, he has. As, as the work from Linford starting at ragged, the skills of McGee have shone a bit brighter. I think the turning point, really, I think he was edging ahead early on, but I think the turning point was when he started to really concentrate on the body. Yes, he did something different, didn't he? And Linford's still trying to throw punches back, but I think he needs a real assault. He really has to go for it. I think that's his only chance now. Yeah, he's got to just walk through the bullets, hasn't he, now? Yeah, he's got to, you know, he's got to try and see what McGee's made of in there. You know, give him a different test, give him something else. You can't outbox somebody like McGee, especially now with a handicap of the eye. Walk through the bullets, easy for us to say, in the uh, safety of our ringside seats, harder for him to do. But this is where a fighter does have to show those kind of qualities if he's going to come through. He's now faced with a situation where he's got to pull this fight around, somehow turn it on its head. At the moment, you'd have to say that's close to looking mission impossible for him. Limpert's obviously worked hard and is fit because he took some mighty watts around that midriff. If he takes too many more, though, he might do well to get through 12 rounds. I know it's late now, the 10th. Can Linford uh, hold it together? He has needed more fire and devil himself, hasn't he? Yes, he has. I uh, feel you know, both these fighters have, have done that. They both thought about it a bit too much. They both kept in long range, looked to box. Good right hand from Linford. But a rare success for him. And he's not possessed of a huge concussive punch either, I don't think. Linford not enough to really hurt the gear who. to look pretty convincing in recent rounds here. Well, look at that, 163 to 89 in terms of punches land. And McGee's thrown 541 so far for a 30% success rate. There's the body punch going in time and time again over the last few rounds. That right hook to the body has landed. A lot of weight behind it. He's done well to take shots like that, Limford. Really is sinking in that that punch. As if McGee comes through this, they wouldn't want it yet for him. But uh, the first next target in the fight would be David Stoner, champion. Yeah, another very good boxer. And I think they've got a few more learning fights before that the McGee can. Yep, I think you're right. I think that's this is what this fight is showing, showing us about McGee. He's not quite ready yet. There's still a, a lot to do. But he does have the tools, doesn't he? Oh, he does. There's an awful lot of potential there. There's a lot to work with. It's new territory for these guys. First time they've ever been in a fight anything like this long. That have prepared very, very well for it. And no signs of the stamina giving out. He's still light enough on his feet then to give him credit for that, even after all the body shots he's had to take here. But the summit of his ambitions now might be just here in the final power. I think that seems to be his intention.
imagine now more survival and get through it with any real thought of winning this because he's not going in the, not really attacking for the like he should be. Maybe that's not so dumb. Maybe the camp will feel he was in with an exceptional prospect in the gear and they can say he went the distance with him and they can rebuild at sure. another level with him. Still yep. young enough. Yep, that could be their way of thinking. He certainly hasn't been disgraced here, but uh, he's never looked as if he was a potential winner of the fight, not really. But he's still hanging in there, still coming back with the occasional decent shot. And you never know, there just might be something sensational. But he does need something sensational, Linford. Now he can't win this on points, we don't think. Too far behind. Well, let's be hoping he can land that left hook, he can pull one out, but he just hasn't thrown enough of them. Instead, the left hand came from McGee, it was a jolting straight shot. Good shots with the right hand a couple of times, and McGee showing quite an impressive repertoire here. Head and body not wasting too many either. Oh, good shots, well, that two to the head. He's a pretty handy fighter. I'd be very surprised if Brian McGee doesn't box at least for a British title. And you think beyond that as well. He's pulling a country mile ahead now. I've got him at eight points in the gap. Yeah, mine's at the same score as yourself. He did points ahead. And he's got one sided. Well, it was a gamble they took with. Uh, Neil Linford, they hoped he might be able to score a big win here. They probably suspected in their heart of hearts that technically McGee might have a bit too much for him, and that's the way it's proved. Yeah, good punches there going in with a left hand from McGee. I mean, one, one of the reasons why McGee maybe has just you know, not really up is maybe because he's nervous about that. The, how long the fight is, the 12th round, you know, having never gone nowhere near there. They've both been like this, so I think they've both thought about the distance a bit, and that's why they've been reserved. Yeah, good point, I think, Glenn. That may explain the slow pace early on. Yeah, I think so, yeah. They touch gloves. I'm sure the left of corner have sent him out saying, come on, the finishing line's in sight, give us three minutes of mayhem if you can here. Trying to lift him, his fans, Neil Limpet. Well, the fans have been great for him, but they really have. We made themselves here trying to lift him throughout this fight. Well, it is something of a fight city, Leicester. But there's no suitable venue there, really, at the moment. Henry Cooper box there, and uh, the Canadian Larry Gaines box at the old Tigers ground many years ago. Emerge from this as a 
more rounded and better fight. We'll know more about what it's going to take after this. That's been a real tough learning fight for Linford. I think McGee will have learned quite a bit in this fight. McGee's put it together well in the second half of the contest. After a quiet start. seconds Brian McGee a big winner we think and on his way to his first title will be at the minor intercontinental belt but it might be the first of many the left eye of Neil Linford is a mess now but he deserves to hear the final bow and he does 12 rounds completed there can be no doubt at all about who's won that I think everybody knows there's no phony celebrations from the Olympic, and that's good to see. I think they know the score. McGee won that going away. Yes, he won it well, showed very good skills, good patience, knew what he had to do. Good to see him start off the tempo in the second part of the fight. He needed to do that. You know, there was in danger of just being a bit boring early on, but he, he pulled away well.